YouTube community and welcome YouTubers from everywhere. Happy Mardi Gras. Yeah, we're just finishing up Mardi Gras. What the heck was that at the start? Well, that was the Zulu crew doing their march a year ago. I'm going to tell you a little bit about the Zulus and the music that goes with them. was the 1927 player piano roll King of the Zulus played by the composer Richard M. Jones. <clears throat> he is fairly famous. Uh, you will maybe know him for the tune Trouble in Mind. A huge tune, public domain now, been covered by many, many people. One of the great things about player piano rolls are recording of pianos was not very good in the 1920s. So here we have the player piano roll played by the composer. Sounds much better than a scratchy old phonograph record. This is a reproduction of the original roll which are quite scarce, rare, probably only two or three known copies that I'm aware of of this roll. This tune was written by Richard M. Jones, who was born in New Orleans, raised in New Orleans, and then had a fairly successful music career for many years. The Zulus, the, the crew, the marching group started in 1909, and in 1915, the first floats were used in the Mardi Gras parade. Now, we're all familiar with the uh, drunken debauchery that takes place probably tonight, Saturday night, on uh, Bourbon Street down in the French Quarter District, but this is a big celebration that lasts a week, and on the Fat Tuesday is when the, most of the parades take place and the crews and the tribes parade, and it's an important part of life in New Orleans. doesn't get much coverage. Uh, they're probably drinking a little too much down in New Orleans right now. I think I'll pop the top on this shock top Belgian white. But in 1949, one of New Orleans' most famous sons, Louis Armstrong, he was the king of the Zulus and he rode in the front of the parade. One of the CDs that I recorded and produced it was called 57 Different Kinds of Blues. This is using 12 different pianists demonstrating the very earliest blues music, which was mostly piano music, starting in about 1909. And tune number 9 on this record, King of the Zulus Blues, played by David Thomas Roberts. A special version he recorded just for me, just for this CD. This CD's been sold out for a long time. King of the Zulus, one of the great tunes from New Orleans and one of the almost unknown tunes. Here's a pretty rare record. Not very valuable or expensive, but quite rare record. Music for a Pretty Baby performed by David Thomas Roberts. David is a good buddy of mine. I've recorded and produced at least four CDs for him, and you'll hear a little excerpt from something else where he's been on some other projects. I believe this was his first project, his first real record. He was only 23 years old. This picture on the cover is an actual prostitute working in the red light district in New Orleans before World War I. And uh, there was a movie called Pretty Baby that was kind of based on this era and this thing. Most of the music here is Jelly Roll Morton. 
but the first tune is Pretty Baby, which was Jelly's friend Tony Jackson, and the last tune he plays on here is Sponge, which was a term for a pimp, in the district in New Orleans, and my friend Heaven and I attended the West Coast Ragtime Festival last year, and David played this tune live. Uh, here he is playing it uh, many years later from when this recording was done, so enjoy. So here then is W.C. Simon's Sponge from New Orleans, 1911. on the Mardi Gras Records label. This was a local New Orleans label. This record didn't get much distribution. I think I paid $10 on Discogs, probably postpaid, VG++ condition. Uh, a very important record to me. Now, this record was put on CD, licensed and put on CD, one of those where they sell at discount stores all over the country, and they sold probably a million of those CDs, has a different cover and a different title. A rare record that's not very valuable that I just picked up. My friend Trevor Titchener, Ragtime Piano, Days Beyond Recall. And this is old ragtime and some original compositions by Trevor. This was on the Folkways label in 1979, so of course this record got reasonable distribution, and you may pick up one of these. Uh, very happy to get this record, and again, uh, off of Discogs and didn't pay a lot for it, but uh, I think you would have trouble on either of these two records I've shown ever finding one in a record store. So, thank you, Discogs. Of course, New Orleans music, Mardi Gras music, what do you guys think that is? Well, Dixieland. I call it traditional jazz, and one of the greatest Dixieland jazz bands there's ever been playing for tips on the street, probably right now in New Orleans, Tuba Skinny, my favorite band. You knew you weren't going to get out of here without hearing a little Tuba Skinny. So they're going to play us out with a tune they recorded at the Mardi Gras event a couple years ago. You got to give me some. Yeah. 